We're going to be looking at a partial derivative, but this time we've been asked to find what d squared f over dy dx is. In the previous video, I looked at um, how to solve, how to find out what df over dx of this exact same problem was, <coughs> and how to find df over dy. Um, now, um, this is a bit unique and a bit different, um, and you're going to be looking at trying to do the exact same. Um, thing as you did in the previous video. You're going to be um, uh, differentiating it by df over dx and df over dy, um, but in a very different way. Firstly, the first step that you take is you differentiate by in terms of x. Here I'm holding the y term constant. So I'm going to get 3x squared y plus y squared e x y squared. This is what I got in the previous video. Um, and it's quite straightforward. You've I've held the y terms constant, and I've 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 got this as my answer. But I need to find what d squared f over dy dx is. So I'm going to now differentiate df by dx, holding the x term as constant. So differentiating the y. So now that means I'll be finding out what this is. Um, but um, but as you can see, we have um. Uh, um a y term here and a y term here. So I'm gonna to have to use the product rule on this part here. But if I hold, um, uh, if, if I now, if, if I, let me just start doing it, dy over dx. So holding the x terms as constant and differentiating y, this will become three x squared. And here, we're now going to, I'm going to, this is gonna be my final answer up here. But I'm now, going to start down here and split this up, make u equal y squared, make v equal e to the x y squared, and make du over dy be 2, 2y, and dv over dy. We hold the x term constant, and so that means you get 2xy e to the x y squared. Using the product rule, I then get 2xy cubed, u times dv dy um, to the power xy squared plus 2y e to the power xy squared. So my answer for um, the differential of this is all of here. We'll just be added on up here. And that is my answer. I can um, I can um, simplify this out a little bit. Um, perhaps uh, just using this side, you can kind of go three x squared and maybe take out a two, take out a y. So you can probably take out a two y e x y squared, and you can have two x y squared plus one. Um, so that 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 is my answer. So as you can see, to solve this kind of a problem, um, you're not going to be uh, differentiating this by df of dx and then differentiating it, this by df dy and then multiplying it together. You won't get the right answer. Um, you're going to be looking at trying to uh, get df over dx and then differentiating this in terms of then y um, and then holding the x terms constant. So you differentiate so you differentiate this in terms of x, then you differentiate this in terms of y. And then this will give you this answer. So as you can see for this question I had to use the product rule a bit, but generally uh, this type of question is quite straightforward.